Drop me down gently, okay? I don't think this thing can take too much damage. Whoa, easy there. I would hate to find out what you're like in a slumber party. Gordon Freeman's kind of slumber party. Okay, just let me down. Why are you... Not cool. Shoot them, not shoot me. Shoot them. You guys are jerks and awful at your jabs. Thankfully, the car seems a little bit nicer than I expected. Seems to actually have a motor. And are you suicidal, Mr. Bug? I think you are. Let's see. I just got my buggy, but I'm gonna stop. And pick up ammo. And medkits. And medkits. And a bureau. Oh, I need that to blow up dudes with guns. You know, Gordon Freeman's really not very efficient, is he? Leaving all those medkits behind. I'm sure, someone needs them, but but they are not important enough for Gordon Freeman to stop and bring them along. Now, if I ever come across a little gnome dude. He seems important enough to bring along. Let's see, a skull and crossbones. That place must be safe. Let's check it out. That's a nice shell right there. Uh. Oh look, he's holding a little baby. That baby looks rather possessed and disturbed. Let's see. It's over there. Hi. Uh, are you squirming? Oh, Jesus. You're not supposed to do that. Um. Is there anything else I can do here? It seems rather vacant. A window. Nice place I. Oh, there's a window. Hello. What's going on? Damn it. Alright. Must remain on task. Get off my bird, you damn it. Get off my car, you bird. It's a it's a little known secret that Gordon Freeman is actually dyslexic. It's it's why he chooses to remain silent so often, so he doesn't embarrass himself at the theoretical physicist meetings. Um, where they talk about theories of physics and physical things. Like bodies. What is with these little, I don't know, ant lions? They're so suicidal. They're not good at their jobs. No. Oh, there we go. Ha. You need a better, deeper voice. Bonjour. What? That grenade was there for like five minutes. Why didn't you do something? Ah! Shotgun! Oh! That's not what you're supposed to do. I 
At least, you, even though you guys had to die, you got to die at a very scenic place. Oops. Oh, look. Hey, it's a man in a briefcase. With a briefcase. Well, possibly has a man in his briefcase. That's not the point. The point is there's a man with a briefcase. Talking to a dude. And she got a... <laughs> That's right. Disgrace his carcass. You know you want to. That guy actually was around for a little while. I, I tend to see him a lot. Oh, wow. I think he just got some sexual favors. I guess that briefcase was full of money and... Well... Adult toys. I'd stay longer, but I don't really want to see what they're doing. Oh. It's a nice little escape hatch. <laughs> Be great if you ever, you know, were coming in contact with the combine and needed a place to hide out. Because buildings without floors do so well during those type of things. Yeah, hello. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I know it. Don't shoot. That was an accident. Oh, god damn it. Not sure, I think he just committed suicide. Huh. <laughs> Some poor sap is like, that's my boat. I was gonna go fishing in that today. Well, maybe not fishing, but maybe he's gonna go out and commit suicide in that today. If anything, I, I made his job easier then. Damn you, pigeon! Get off my car! I think I, I think I made him turn, uh, disintegrate with my bullets. If nothing else was very satisfying. No, more suicidal birds. Take that, Mr. Suicidal Bug. Your life is all smeared across my hood. Gordon Sup, Freeman. dudes? Hurry, get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. Gunships? Colonel Cubbage will be glad to see you made it. Hey, that was a woman, wasn't it? When I was back on the other side of... The, uh, coastline place? Or is this not... Stay nope, me, nope, that's definitely where they're... I want to see if they're having sexual favors still. Sexual encounters. Oh. My, this is not as nearly sexy as I expected. Gordon Freeman is disappointed. Don't push me. A gunship. Ah, hello. Hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past your rocket defenses and prevent it Can you walk your rocket? This will only anger it at first, but I think that most anger is coming from you saying walk it. You'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Ooh, ooh, me. Me. Yay! Now, can you please stop saying walk it? Is that a, a, is that a good thing? Alright, I'll see you outside. Yeah, I'll fire my walk it right up its butt. I said not to say walk it. You security guard. You're a security guard? I don't think you should be officially, you know, handling walkets. No wonder you call them walkets. 
you did not fill out the proper forms in order to handle them. Hello. Oh, I think I angered it with my walkets. 